Top Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry from Bella Souls with Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. We're back with another Tabletop Spotlight, and I'm excited to bring you today. Yes. Tie Striker. Tie Striker. Tie Striker. From the new hit movie Rogue One, the Star Wars story. Uh, but yeah, this is the new Imperial. Plug there. Nice. I like it. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> we're not paid by no, we're not Disney. Uh, but yeah, this is the new Imperial ship uh, for Star Wars: The X-wing game, the Majors game. Uh, it's the Tie Striker. Yeah. yeah. It's like a Tie Fighter, but the wings are yeah, pointed. It's, it's, like that, yeah. it's pointy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it strikes things. <laughs> it's, tri it's actually uh, it's supposed to be an atmospheric fighter. Okay. But it can also That's go right, into yeah. space. It's it makes it's sense cool. if you've seen the movie. I haven't. Yeah. He has. I'm jealous. I'll see it later. Don't worry about <laughs> it. By the time this video comes out, I've seen, you've it. seen it. Yeah. But it's okay. The the cool thing about it, though, I've got a little preview of some of the cards. Yeah. It, it flies a lot different than some of the other ships. Just Good. Good. You'll see when we're talking about. And speak, speaking of that, seeing, let's take a look inside the box. Here we have the Tie Striker. Yes. The expansion. It's a it's, it's a, a clam pack. Coffin shape. It is kind of like a little. It, people have been pointing things. this out like. Why is it so long? long. Yeah, I don't, uh, you it's should the watch engine. the movie. It's the engine. You should, well, you should watch the movie. We should. I will. Uh, but yeah, here's um, what it comes with. Here's what it comes with. We haven't opened this yet. I'm gonna show you guys how I open these packs. Oh uh, please! Can I have the scissors? There you go. All right. So this is what I do when I open these packs. Um, so I cut the top off here, right? If you can. If I can, these scissors are not helping me out. All right, here we go. I'm on through. Okay. I'm gonna keep my hand away. Keep that over there. Okay. Now here's the real trick. You see how it's got like a lip? Yeah. You just. Okay. You just kind of cut on the lip. Da, da, okay. Da, da, da. Interesting. Give me some theme music, bro. Oh. Uh, <laughs> He's doing the duel of fate. That's as high as I can go. <laughs> Why would you do Duel of the Fates and not like dun 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 or the Imperial March? I like Duel of the Fates is one of the best parts of the first Yeah, I'm it's not gonna lie. good. I mean, it's no Jar Jar Binks, but it's definitely Jar Jar Binks is pretty good. Uh, I was gonna stab you with these scissors. <laughs> no, but yeah, Duel of the Fates was probably the best thing that came out of that. Well, this is impressive. So what what that when that happens is after you cut everything there, then it just kind of folds open. You didn't cut it off. I didn't get it. Okay, well. but you, you can peel it. Yeah, but you can peel it back, and then you don't have to worry about yeah. like ripping and you your didn't hands get any blisters. up. I didn't get any blisters. That's great. I didn't cut any of the stuff inside, which is the most important That's thing. That's also true. And I'm not bleeding, so it's good. Yeah. Evan was rooting for me to bleed a little. I, I mean, I had I had some money on it, but <laughs> all right. So let me move that to the side. Uh, there's the ship. You want to do the honors on the I ship? Will, please, I will. Uh, while you're while you're messing with that too, here's the here's sides. Little, here's a little thing for the dial. I want to point this out too, real quick too. The the striker maneuvers. It doesn't look like it's gonna go very fast, but it's got something a little, a little something well, something on the looks, back end. It looks maneuverable. Yeah, it's very much a dogfighter. Yeah. It doesn't have but doesn't have a lot of speed. But that's deceptive. Right. It's like, kind of like the K-Wing. Here's the base, you know what that looks like. Yep. And then here is the tie striker. I'm gonna get a close up here. Whoa. Uh, interesting. What, it moves! So, like the U-Wing. What? It moves. I was not expecting that. Uh, Cause I mean, if it lands, you know, you don't want your wings to be in the way when it lands. That's true, so wow. Go, Whoa. Dude, you just blew my mind. I did not know that that was gonna move. It's for uh, visibility too, so your wings don't get in your, like, I was flying here. I mean, how can you see me? Oh, there you go. Oh. That's cool. I actually didn't know the wings would move, so I thought I broke it when I took it out of the packaging. <laughs> uh, but there are hinges, so I did not break it. Fair enough. All right, real quick, here's the uh, here's the, the punch outs. We're just gonna show these off real fast. Okay. Nothing too crazy here. You've got your ships, which we'll get to in a minute, all those, and your dial. Yes. And again, we show this off. Uh, already a little bit, but you can tell it's got a lot of one maneuvers pretty much all of them twos It's got uh, it's got a lot. It's got the K wing or sorry K turn and the the S loops, too So interesting it can flip around it's it's designed to be a dog fighting ship in your face Really more of a brawler and you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute and then uh, speed threes So it, it doesn't look like it's super fast, but again, that's the deceptive part We're gonna lay the cards out here uh, all fancy and come right back. Ooh. Okay, so here are all of the cards. Yes. Let's start with uh, let's start with the upgrades real quick. Okay, so I think this one will make a lot more sense. Okay. Um, so first off, adaptive ailerons, which is the uh, striker title. Right. Kind of weird. It's not really like adaptive ailerons isn't the title of a ship. It's more like an upgrade on it. Whatever. Right. But this is the title card. 
What it does is immediately before you reveal your dial, if you are not stressed, you must execute a white uh, bank one, straight one, or right bank one maneuver. Okay. That's a boost. Right. Basically, this card says, uh, if you're not stressed, before you re reveal your dial, you must execute a boost. So it's a very maneuver, or not, but like it looks like from the dial, it's not fast, but you get a boost. But it, yeah, but in reality, you're getting a free boost every turn. That's pretty cool. And this as is a free stressed. upgrade. Yeah. As long as you're not stressed, you're just boosted right along. Right. So it's just a neat thing. I, yeah. I think that's actually, um, again, deceptively quick. Right. So, and you can actually cover a lot of ground with those boosts. So it's oh, deceptive. Yeah. So. Uh, the next one up is a uh, lightweight frame. And I want to point this out to you. This is a tie only modification, so it doesn't just apply to the tie striker. Okay. It applies to all other tie ships. That's cool. Uh, as long as they meet these requirements, which are uh, uh, when defending after rolling defense dice, if there are more attack dice than defense dice, roll one additional defense die. You cannot equip this card if your agility value is three or higher. Hmm. So there's a couple of ties out there that right. already have a three agility. This just brings them up. I think one of them is like the, maybe the Defender, I think, and the Bomber. I think the Bomber is, is probably one. another one. Yeah. I don't remember all of them. I know there's only like a handful of them. Right. Um, it might be the Interceptor instead of the, whatever. Point is, look it up online. Don't quote me on that. Yes. But <laughs> it, it applies to those ships too, which is which is cool. Mm -hmm. um, so it just gives you that extra defense die. Now, statistically, between an attack die and defend die, if all else is equal. Never tell me the statistics. Uh, <laughs> never tell you the odds. But uh, the attack die is always is in favor of the attacker. Oh, so right. Okay. If you each get one extra die, uh, the attacker is going to have the advantage. Right. Yeah. Now, you may get lucky because that's why we play right. a dice game. But yeah, that's just I'm just letting everybody know. And then swarm leader, we've seen this card before, so we won't go over that one again. Um, cool. You ready right. for the pilots? I am ready. Go ahead and start. So off. we have the Imperial trainee. Uh, why would you bring the trainee to battle? Because he's 17 that. points. Fair. And he's one pilot score. He's definitely not good at. Pirate. He's gonna go first though, so you can use yeah, him as a blocker. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, he's got a three dice primary. This is just the base ship. Three right. primary, two agility, and four hull. Four hull, but so, no shields. No shields. Right. But the fact that he's only 17 points, you he's got a, a three die them. primary. Yeah. You can bring a handful of these guys and really clog up the field. They're not Definitely. gonna. They're usually not gonna get shot at range three and get killed by anybody. Right. Because of the four hull, they're at least gonna get closer. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I think that there's some value in there. I mean, and for one point more, you can get a pilot score three. So this is the Scarif Defender. Mm -hmm. uh, Scarif is the new planet. planet uh, oh. In the spoiler, spoiler. In the trailers, it's that like the jungle. Yeah, I mean, it's more like a islandy, islandy jungle-y. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so Scarif Defender, um, right. Tie Striker, no, no different abilities. So they all have the uh, focus, the barrel roll, roll, and the evade. Right? Yeah. Okay, evade. Uh, so they all have that in their action bars. Um, you don't see elite pilot talents until uh, Black Squadron Scout and Pure Savak and Duchess, which we'll get to. Right. Later. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Black Squadron Scout uh, for uh, two more points other than that one. Pilot score four. Again, no new ability. Um, we won't get into abilities until the next yeah. guy, but yeah. So it's but like, it opens up some options with that EPT. Oh, that's a good point, so. yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you look at them too, like that's the only thing you can bring with these two guys and whatnot. Yeah. So uh, then we have- But he has no no special. So these are all generic pilots you can just yeah. use- Yeah, generic as pilots. Uh, and then we have the countdown, uh, which countdown, the is final the same countdown. cost as this guy. Uh, however, he has one more pilot score and he has an ability. Would you want yeah. to read that ability? Sure. So. Actually, Countdown is of, of these three okay. uh, ships. Countdown may be the meanest ship, and meanest? I'll, the meanest. I one. mean, if someone's called Countdown, like it's yeah. pretty like. Stressful. Well, I'll explain. Explain okay. here. I'll explain here. Let me read the ability. When defending, if you were not stressed during the comparative results step, uh, you may suffer one damage to cancel all dice results if you do receive one stress token. So what does that mean? Okay. Well, what does that mean, Adam? So the compare results step is when you take the two die rolls. Right. So if you're defending, I'm attacking. Right. We both roll our die. Oh, you roll. There's some modifications. Anyway, when you compare the results of those two dice pools, right. that's the compare results step. This says, instead of saying, you know, I rolled three hits and you mm -hmm. rolled one of eight, you go, okay, well, I'm just going to cancel all those dice and I'm going to take one point of damage. Ah, uh, so you can always only... And you receive a stress. Right. And you so stress. if it's looking bad, if you whiffed, if you're defending with countdown and you completely whiff your agility oh, build, you really can just say, though. oh man, I was going to die that round. I'll just take one point of damage. That's really good though. It's really good. Yeah. So I think he's called countdown because he's got a ticking clock, which is four. 
Ah, uh, you know, that's smart. Yeah, and yeah. he goes down one tick. One tick, yeah. and basically how this ability works is, it, I don't care what ship you are in the game, yeah. with this guy, uh, with this particular pilot, um, one of you is gonna die in four rounds. Right. Because he's throwing three dice back, and if you just go straight heads up. He's more of like, he, he plays the game, like he, he just waits out the game kind of thing. He it, it's a, he's, a, he's the meanest brawler, I think, in this setup. Right. Because he can't ever take more than one point of damage um, in a heads up fight, because he's just like, oh, you hit me once, as long as he doesn't have any stress. So you right. have to have a way to clear that stress, which is where the rest of your list comes in. So uh, keep that in mind though. But we've got green maneuvers, yeah. and he can stay in tight. Again, he's a dog fighter. Mm -hmm. He's ready to do that, that business. So I think Countdown, again, in my, cool. in my opinion, is one of the best brawlers. Right. Moving on. Pure Sabak? Sabak, Pure. I think, what's this called? Pure. 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 I mean, I it's for short, yeah. Pure. What up, Pure? Uh, uh, hey. Pilot Pure. Skill 6. Uh, ability is really cool, though. When attacking, if you have one or fewer damage cards, roll one additional attack die. That's cool. Which is really cool because you have a primary three. So that means, yeah, early game, when early you have game, no damage. He's fine. Well, I mean, early game, he's base. And yeah. I think it's more powerful the more damage he takes. No, if you have one or fewer damage cards. Oh, I see what you're saying. Early so game, he's... No damage at all. Wow, okay, yeah. So early game, he's powerful. Yeah. If you want, you still got room for modifications. You could totally toss a shield upgrade on this guy. Totally, yeah. And then that buys you another round. Oh, by the way, you could do that with Countdown as well. So make that five turns instead of four. Anyway. <laughs> Good. So, but yeah, you could throw a shield on there to stop the damage cards. And again, it's one or fewer damage cards. It's nice, yeah. So even if you take one point of damage, you can still get that extra attack die. I think, again, early game, uh, he's gonna be a very heavy hitter. If you can get within range one. Yeah. Woo, with no damage, totally, totally. throwing out five five die primary. Pretty pretty saucy stuff. And then last, but certainly not least, uh, Duchess here. Duchess. Again, these two have the EPTs. Yes. Uh, while you have the adaptive ailerons upgrade card equipped, you may choose to ignore the card ability. Oh, okay, so, that's nice. Okay. Duchess is rocking the adaptive ailerons. If you don't want to take that boost action early on, you can just say, no, it's pretty I'm good. ignoring it. It's very specific. Yeah, no, it is specific. Mm -hmm. uh, and, but I mean, that's fine, because like, if you don't have that card, then there's no reason to really take the Duchess other than like a, the highest pilot score. Yeah, it, Duchess is definitely the, uh, the, the ace of the group. Right. Uh, very high pilot score. I mean, if you were named Duchess, I, I would assume you're the... Archer, bro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, this is a uh, yeah, yeah, pretty pretty neat ship. Again, yeah. I think it is deceptively fast. Again, looking at that dial, again, keep in mind you're getting a free boost on top of that, Definitely. and you still have a barrel roll. Um, and if you want, as far as like upgrades along the way, mm -hmm. you can totally toss toss in the engine upgrade, um, and then you get another barrel roll or boost on top of that, so you can boost barrel roll boost. Damn, that so would be awesome. Be super fast. Yeah, uh, I don't know. If, Depending on the the role that you want to do with your ship, though, right? You may want to you may not want to spend the points to be honest, right? Because it's I mean that's the game. You have yeah, to divvy up your points and see what strategically exactly. you think is exactly. Good. Yeah. You got to come to the conclusion yourselves after you play right. on the ship. So, but let's take a look at the ship one last time. I mean, I've been playing with it off yeah. the screen. I know, uh, but yeah, I'm a little jealous. There you go. <laughs> it does kind of look like a coffin. Well, I mean, yeah, I like the shape, but yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's got like the two little. Weapons up front. Yeah. Little lasers pew, 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 there. Pew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a cool ship. Yeah, definitely. It's a neat design. Um, definitely more aerodynamic looking than traditional ties. Sure. It's got the big engine on the back. They never have to be aerodynamic. No, of course not. This is. Well, this one's mostly this fights is... in the atmosphere, so I guess it'll have to be there. Well, I mean, yeah. If you strap a big enough engine on anything, I mean, look at fly. that engine. Yeah. Look at that butt. Yeah. Yeah. It's got some badonkadonk. Yeah. That's all I'm there anyway, we go. <laughs> let's hop out for a really quick recap. Well, that was the Tie Striker. As you can see, uh, we didn't put it back in the yeah, we didn't put it back in the clan pack. No, it's, it's, it's destroyed. destroyed. But it's a really cool ship. It's got the foldable wings, which surprised me. He's just making pew pew sounds the whole time. He plays it very well. I love this. <laughs> it's such a cool ship. Uh, it's in stores now. What's the price point on that one? It is fourteen ninety five. Fourteen ninety five mm -hmm. from FFG, obviously for yes. Star Wars X Wing. Star Wars X Wing. Mm -hmm. New Tie Striker. Tie Man. Fighters. Eat your heart out, Tie Fighters. Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, I'm Adam Harry from Bell Souls. I'm Evan from Dragon's Air Comics and Fancy. And this has been another Tabletop Spotlight. Thanks for watching. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragon's Air Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.